Hey, let's take just a few minutes and talk about how to auto fit your tracks in Audacity, both horizontally and vertically, so that you can see your entire project on one screen. Hey, Mike Adams here with the Audacity Bootcamp. Let's take just a moment and talk about how to auto fit tracks to your screen. You know, if you've got a large project that you're working on in Audacity, those tracks run off the end or they run down the bottom of your screen. Sometimes you lose track of what you've got and how big your project is. Well, I'm going to show you how to auto fit your tracks both vertically and horizontally in this video. This is actually lecture 17 from my Udemy course, which is offered as a free preview for those interested in taking my course. So I thought I'd bring it over here and share it with you since it's a free preview anyway, and hopefully you'll find it valuable and helpful. Let's get started. Hey, welcome back to the course. In this lesson, let's talk about auto fitting our tracks to the display screen. I have several tracks open up here on my laptop and I can't really see what's going on. They scroll off the bottom of the display and they scroll off the end of the display. So I can't really tell at a glance what I've got here without doing some scrolling. Now I've got like six tracks in here, I think, but if I had, you know, 20 tracks and it just goes off the bottom and of the screen and, you know, maybe they're 30 minutes to an hour long, I don't know what I'm dealing with. And if you're like me, I like to know what I'm dealing with before I start dealing with it. Maybe someone has given me this project and asked me to, to edit for them to fix some problem in it. But before I can do that, I want to know what's in the project. I want to know what I'm up against, what I'm facing before I even start. So let me show you in this lesson how to fit all of your tracks onto the screen so that you can see them all whenever you're going to start a project. Now in order to do that, let's come up here to the drop-down menu, the view drop-down menu particularly, and let's go to track size once again, and let's click fit to width. Now I can also use command F if you're on a Mac, it's probably control F if you're on Windows, but I'm just gonna click fit to width. And when I do, you'll see that now my entire track project, my entire project fits on the width of my screen. So I know that of my tracks, I've got, you know, 46, 47 seconds worth of audio here, which, you know, isn't anything in the real world, but for the purposes of display, it works. So I fit my tracks into the width of the screen. Now let's go back up to that same view drop down menu. And let's go to track size again, and this time let's click fit to height. And again, you can do shift command F or on a Windows shift control F most likely. But since we're here, I'm just going to click this once and I'm going to fit all the tracks to the height of my screen so that I see them all vertically as well as horizontally. And there it is. So I have all of my tracks. I can see my entire project beginning to end and I can see how many tracks are in the project. Now, before I let you go, let me show you one more thing. If we go up to the Audacity drop down window and we go to Preferences, we can select Tracks. And then in our Preferences, we can tell it to always auto fit height. I always have that checked. The only reason I unchecked it in this one was to show it to you. But I always have that checked. That's why whenever I open a project or play a project, if I record a new track in a project, it always adjusts to auto fit in the height because I've got this selected and I love that feature. So now every time I record a project or record a track or import a track, import some audio, it's always going to fit the height of my display and I'm going to always know how many tracks I'm dealing with. So you want to click that. That's invaluable. So I'm just going to tell it OK. And life is good. So that's how to auto fit tracks to your screen, both horizontally and vertically. I'll see you in the next lesson. Hey, I hope you found that information of value. Remember, you can visit me online anytime by going to audacitybootcamp.com. I also teach online courses on Audacity at udemy.com. The link to both my website and to my Udemy course are down in the description of this video, as well as up in the header for you, just to make it easy to find me. Hey, if you like what's going on here at the Audacity Bootcamp, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so that you get notifications and tell others about the Audacity Bootcamp. I appreciate it. Until next time.